Hi, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, I hope you're all right, you've had a nice day. Oh, two things, all right. First thing, my ass stinks of shit, all right. Not because of us or any animal shit anywhere. It's because the cows, I don't know what the fucking farmers are doing, but it's raw, all right. And there's some cow fields, you can hear them mooing, mooing, mooing every morning. So they're just like over there and oh, it just stinks. My whole house, it's like I've had a shitty wax melt on, honestly. Like, I know I like the smell of cow shit, I do. All right, if you are new here, I have said that before, because I do. All right, I quite like the smell of cow shit. I think it's fresh, you know, it makes you feel like you're, do you know what I mean, in the country. But this is raw. There's something in this one that just, it almost smells human. All right, it almost <laughs> smells fucking human. So, secondly, all right, I've just thrown on a fucking stone. <sighs> Crash brings them in from outside. It brings them in from outside and I've just stood on it and oh, it felt like it went through my foot, it didn't, but it felt like it did. He literally goes outside, finds the biggest stone, brings it in and leaves it in places where you just can't see it. So yeah, I've just stood on it and oh, I was like, bastard, like it really hurt. But um, yeah, oh, I'm tired as well So I feel really tired. I feel like I might be coming down with something, maybe, I don't know, my head's really, Headache, a bit hazy. I feel a bit weak. I do feel a little bit weak. I don't know. I hope not. I hope not. But um, yeah. Can I just say as well? Thank you um for all your lovely comments on my new do. So yeah, I've got my jammy top on. By the way, I've just come home from the school run and whatnot. I've just got my jammy top on. I've just done the lads' dinner, so I'm gonna have mine soon. But yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, for all your compliments on me, yeah, honestly. You might be able to see it a bit better now, actually. Like, it's... Steve said to me earlier, oh, it looks professional, like you've had uh, black and red highlights. But, yeah, that's how it is. So, I've got a picture, all right, on my phone, of how I desperately wanted it to be. It was never going to be like this. I did my research last night. Maybe I should have done it. Should have, should have done it before, but I did it last night on hair colouring. A lot of people recommended. I think it was L'Oreal Preference um, Red Dye, and they said that goes really well on it. But unlike all the reviews on Amazon, they were saying it don't take. So I think like it would have to be a case of lightening my hair. But I did look for some last night. So there was the Arctic Fox. I came across, that's a bit pricey, £25.45 for a little fucking bottle. I just, oh, do you know what I mean? It's quite pricey for a bit of air dye. Oh my God. And then I found these um, shrine drops, all right? Look at this, right? How stunning is that hair colour? She looks amazing. This is how I wanted my hair. As you can see, we're nowhere like that at all. So yeah, eventually, I would like that colour. That's the colour I really want. These are Shrine hair drops. So, yeah. Oh, I'd love it, honestly. I'd love that colour. But, um, yeah. I don't know if the Shrine drops will work. Or there's this Manic Panic High Voltage Classic Cream Formula Pillar Box Red Dye. So, this is this Panic Formula. So yeah, that um, vibrant red, that's eventually what I want my hair to be. Like the haircut, oh my god, I fucking love the haircut now. I don't know why I was so like, why am I nervous? It feels so much healthier, honestly. They're all them like scraggly bits at the end. And I was just like ding, dinging on, clinging on for dear life. <laughs> I was saying dinging on for clear life. <laughs> clinging on for dear life. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad they're gone. Like... I just feel great. So yeah, this is the start. And then I will get to that red eventually. I don't know, bleach bath. People are saying bleach baths. Like, is that like not a harsher version? I need to Google it. I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, thank you. I really appreciate like the compliments and stuff. Like it's really, you know, made me feel great. So yeah, I appreciate it. I think you're all amazing. So I went to Home Bar, not Home Bargains. It looks very similar. Bargain buys. I did go in um, recently and, well, a few weeks ago now, and they were having a, you know, a shimmer, move around. A shimmer? Is that the word? A shimmy around. A move around. 
and um, there was nothing in the store at all. There was literally fuck all. So I was like, all right, you know, we'll leave that. Um, probably about fucking 10 tins on shelf, honestly. That's how drab it was. And then I went in today and there was loads of bits. And I love it because it's like two for a pound or three for a pound or, you know, that's the kind of thing that I like. So if you don't want to stick around, I really appreciate it anyway. Definitely like and subscribe to my channel and whatnot. I'm, you know, trying to get to 25,000 by Christmas. So, yeah, you know, I'd appreciate it. But I also, um, I'll show you anyway. I got these. I couldn't believe it. So there's two. This is the one I got Mason. Steve picked up that one. They were 4 99 Can you believe it? So this is the Stealth Phantom headset. Listen, don't ask me what happens, but in my house, headsets don't last. Tyler is the only one whose headset has lasted because he amazingly looks after all of his things. He's quite, he takes a lot of pride in his stuff. So yeah, he is, all his things are really well kept. Um, Mason's a little bit more, a little bit more wild. So yeah. Um, yeah, his headset hasn't worked. And every time he says, oh, will you get me a headset? Can I have one for Christmas? This, that, and the other. You know, just can I have a headset? And then I keep forgetting, or I'm like, yeah, we'll see, you know, if Santa gets you one. Because we go through that many, it's kind of like, I have to wait to see if Santa gets you one now, sort of thing. And then I've seen this. So he's using it now, actually. And it all works fine, excuse me. <clears throat> but I've seen this, and it were 4 I can't believe it. Because even the Poundland ones are like eight quid, and they look well shit. So I was like, oh my God. I'm gonna get it like this was right at the till so i was well chuffed honestly when i seen it i was like oh god i need it i've got to get it it's gonna be well happy so after school though when i picked him up because he's after a phone well, get your words out he's after a phone so he's not got one yet he's 10 years old he's not got one yet and after school i said i've got you something um and he was like oh what what can i get a sort of thing and um oh fucking hell, i scared the life out of me i was like oh you know you can I was going like this, you can speak to people, maybe. And he was like, a phone! I, I felt awful, but I was like, no, it's a phone, get a grip. All right, it's not a phone. <laughs> but it did make me think like, oh, because he got so excited, like, for it being a phone. Um, and I was like, no, it's not. It's a headset, but he was even more excited for a headset because he can chat to all his friends and stuff and friends that um, left school, you know, throughout the year. So year five, I think one of his good friends left. So yeah, he was really sad. I remember that day he came out of school and he was sobbing and it broke my heart, let me tell you. He was just sobbing and yeah, his friend left and you know, moved away and stuff. So yeah, he was always on his keyboard chatting away to him. But um, now he's you know, chatting, chatting. So yeah, 4 99 So Steve got one as well. Right, I'll go through this bag. So I've got these, 79p for these m m biscuit bars you get 10 in there 10 79p so that's going to be handy for the pack lunch baby wipes grab some baby wipes and then a toy for the dogs so this is just another one to add really because we've got that many so yeah this is just like a bone toy but it's solid like it's proper solid so there was a woman um looking at dog toys and she said uh what did she say she had no, she said she had doberman and you know, he played really well with it, so like he didn't destroy it. So I'm a really, really funny with toys at the minute. So I watched a video the other day. In fact, I saved it because um, it had some really useful information on about like if a dog chokes, so like little balls and stuff like don't give them your dogs, um, like tiny ones and stuff. But this poor woman, she was so upset because her dog had choked on a little toy and she couldn't get in the car. It was on TikTok. She couldn't go to the vets. Like she was so scared. So her husband did it with the dog. And the man just, like, bleh, get your fucking words out. They managed to save the dog. So, yeah, and she was saying, like, if your dog ever chokes on, like, a ball or something, you know, like, a one that, you know, with the slime will easily slide down, you know, that kind of texture, like, to put them on their back and, like, massage up. So, yeah, I was like, fuck, you know. So, yeah, just... Do you know what I mean? Just makes you think, doesn't it? Anyway, this was 39p. So this is Heinz um, vegan mayo, chili vegan mayo. So the Heinz normal mayo is actually not normal. The vegan mayo without chili, plain, is um, actually really nice. So yeah, I was a bit like, mm, looks a bit shit and it's nice, all right. I've got some um, Blue Dragon sweet chili sauce. This is a massive bottle, you know. And this was a quid. I do like my um, 
sweet chilli sauce so I got that and then there is another one somewhere but I got three tins of sweet corn for a pound I love sweet corn so yeah I got three tins for a quid and then these were two for a pound as well so they are the skinny cookie company co you get five bags or ten for a pound so mini chocolate chip cookies five bags and they are 98 calories per bag oh my god i'll get some of them so and then this was 39p as well so this is a moroccan flatbread kit for oh, right i'll make some of that that sounds really nice so got that got some toothpaste and these were four for a pound they're 100 calories per sachet so these ones are Vietnamese style um, like noodle sachets and they're really nice. They're ramen noodles in a vegetable broth. Only 100 calories. So these are naked um, noodles and then 10 calorie um, jellies, two for £1.50. They're rhubarb and custard. I thought that sounds all right. I'm not too keen on rhubarb. I can't remember the last time I had it actually. I might be. I don't know. But it was two packs for one fifty, so they're only 10 calories. And that is that bag. So I also grabbed this as well. Massive. This was at the till. I've got small pods. But this was at the till for two quid. Look. Two quid because it's got a damaged box. 75 washes. You know, that's really good for a damaged box. So it's always good, you know, just stop it in. Because the amount of times that oh now why everything's making me jittery today maybe wash your fucking pots twat but um yeah i quite often run out of like washing up products you know and bits and bobs and i have to end up using a bit of fairy liquid i've used shampoo i have you know if i've like <laughs> needed a top or a bit of school uniform i'm like shit bit of shampoo you know and i still would now i don't care like it's always come up all right do you know what i mean but yeah just to have in the cupboard here's the other jelly so yeah four jellies all together for 50 because i was using daz before small i just think you yeah, know two quid for 75 washes gotta have a bit of that two for a pound on these um skinny raw so these are the ones that do taste like bird feed pressed fruit and nut bars but 99 calories two for a pound i was like i love you why not eh? two pot noodles so bombay bad boy and original curry this they were even 59p i think they were 59p and then i got some garam masala i did get another one. Oh, these were good you know Look, hang on here it is up two for a pound on these charwoods curry powders two for a pound that's not bad is it so i thought right get that listen all right i've been using coffee from the corner shop one pound nine and it tastes amazing no more red sachets for me all right it's been a long time but this was two quid all right nest cafe gold blend so i thought fuck it i'll have a bit of that but i've been getting well the other day i ran out so i went corner shop and i got um yeah you know like the real basic stuff because everything else was just majorly overpriced. So I was like, right, I'll just have that. And it actually is fine. I think I just got a bit carried with the red sachets. I was literally, look, get your words out. I was literally drinking a box a day almost, honestly. Maybe not quite that much, but it felt like it. Do you know what I mean? And then 39p for some green tea. These are the lemon ones. Lemon taste green tea. I actually want some um, dandelion tea. I know that might sound a bit like, ugh, it's supposed to be really beneficial. Like I've been reading up on it and it's got so many like health benefits. So yeah, I thought, right, I'll grab some of that. So I think I need to order it online because none of my local shops have got any dandelion tea, believe it or not. Um, I got some of this Harissa chicken sauce. So that was 59p. A smoky and spicy tomato cooking sauce from Moroccan style tagine. Sorry, I've got my words out. Um, so yeah that was 59p and then i got some more naked noodles they were two for a pound so this is chat oh my god i can't speak chinese chow mein and japanese teriyaki so two for a pound here's another tinny of sweet corn 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 yeah i got some cayenne cayenne pepper cayenne pepper cayenne pepper uh they were 59p each i got some nando's peri peri sauce this was one pound 49 
I usually get um, a very similar knockoff one from own bargains, but they didn't have like that. And I really like that. You know, like with my fish and salad and stuff. So, and then I got some chili um, puree. These were two for a pound. So there is another one somewhere. And then a little bottle of olive oil for a quid. This is, yeah, extra virgin olive oil. That was only a pound. And I feel like a bit on salad and it's always nice to have in. Two for a pound these were. Go ahead. Two for a pound? Like, two for a pound? That's crazy. That's why I love shops like this, you know. Just get all your shit. Here are, look. So these were four for a pound. These ones are Thai style coconut and lemongrass. So then we were two. Do you know what? Just when you fancy it for lunch or whatnot or just in the afternoon you know just any of the old uh, noodles these were three for a pound so they are blue dragon thai masterman curry paste so little like um pots of paste so that's really good because i'm gonna get me a you know get cooking and stuff so do you know what i mean like I make a few bits here and there. There's me all the paste. I've got this Caribbean jerk barbecue um, little you know grinder pot. And then the last few bits we're doing for a pound and they're little um like sachets. So what I tend to do is you know if I get anything meat free like or chicken for the boys or like pork or beef or something like that, whatever, um get these little sachets, you know, and just season the shit out of like meat free or meat you know and yeah stick it in wraps or whatever so this is korean um street food sachet this one's brazilian and this one's greek look three for a quid they were i thought oh my god i'm gonna get them and then make some of it you know quite nice so yeah that's everything from bargain pies but um right yeah don't know where I'm at. Coffer is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a coffer. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So just to, you know, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. But um, yeah, why do I feel like I'm... <sighs> anyway, as always, don't let the kids get you down. All right, you are fucking amazing. Okay, no you're worth. All right, you've got this. Enjoy the rest of your week, won't you? And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.